Hi. Now, I'm just doing a quick video today because a lot of birds are going past. No, because um, with the other herb videos and stuff I've done in the past, a lot of people have actually asked me about growing mint and different kinds of mint. So I thought I'd just do a quick video on mint because uh, the whole mentha family, mints, like common mint, you can get common mint, uh, basil mint, cinnamon mint, spear mint, apple, did I say apple mint? Um, you can even get chocolate mint, uh, Vietnamese mint, and there's a few other ones. You can get a soft furry mint, there's heaps. But the common mint and all those things, the whole mentha family, all of them really are intrusive. So they'll really, if you plant them in a garden, the root system will spread and you'll find that you'll have mint popping up all over the place and it'll just become like a menace in your garden. So keep it separate, keep it in a pot, and whatever you do, don't put the pot on the ground in the actual garden bed itself because the little perforated holes in the bottom that allow it to drain, the root system will go through that and down into the garden bed too. So keep it away from everywhere else. When I was about probably about 20 years ago when I was about 16 or something like that, I planted mint in my parents' garden for them, thinking, oh, that will be nice, they like to use mint and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, 20 years later it's still growing in their garden. <laughs> now, I've got one in a pot here, so sorry about the wind too. As always with my videos, they're a bit dodgy, and the wind always picks up when I go to film something. So I've got mint in a pot here, and I'll come around, I'll just give you a bit of a narrative, all right? Right. I hope you can see it alright. Now, this is just common mint. Um, I love mint. I love the smell of it. Like, really, really love the smell of mint. You can dry it out and keep it for a while. You can use it in teas. You can um, oh, use it in stuffings. And you can use it in, in vegetables, with peas, in potatoes, in salads. Everything. I think it's really underrated as a herb. A lot of people just don't grow it. Now, I just wanted to show you while I've got you here. Now see all that root system? Now this is just a little pot. You can see how small it is. And I've pruned this back. So this was about there, that big originally. So it was huge. And I've pruned it right back. I'll eventually put it in another pot. But you can just see, see that root system? How it's just stemming out from there? It wants to grow. It wants to get out everywhere. So that's what you've got to be careful of. And that's why you shouldn't plant it in a regular garden bed. It's not so bad over here. But this side, it's busting at the seams. So keep it in a pot. Give it a good prune back in winter, and it'll come back. If you ever want to grow it, uh, propagate it, I should say, you can just cut it off, like grab a stem like that, cut it off about so far, take off the bottom few leaves, take off a few, cut off about... Oh, six or seven, put them in a glass of water, leave it in the kitchen, and half of them usually will... Um, stem out and root and then you can just take them out of the water and plant them. A lot of a lot of the mentha family is actually can grow it in water and does really well in hydroponic systems. So that's mint. This is just common mint. Now what I like to do, you just take off a few leaves, take off a few of the stems, put it in, the, you've seen me do it before, the herb teas, put it into the um, percolator, into the little plunger I should say, and um, hot water, let it steep for a while. Really nice. Cool. So that's mint, alright? So all the, just be, whenever you think about it, just think the mentha family. Don't put it in the garden, because it'll take over. And if you do, it'll come out of the holes at the bottom of the actual pot too, so don't put it anywhere on the garden bed itself. Keep it, keep it safe, keep it secret. <laughs> oh, it's keep it secret, keep it safe, isn't it? I'm such a geek, Lord of the Rings. Anyway, let's keep it in a pot. <laughs> Any questions about mint or the mentha family, just give me a yell, alright? Beautiful. Love it. See you soon.